Alright. Our first wyvern. Hopefully. Yeah. And we only have regular crystal, so... Yeah. These don't land. That is my concern. Please do not land. And make me fall off in the trees. Because there are capros and a bunch of leeches around this part that I found you at. I hope I put my thyla on neutral. I don't remember if I did or did not. But yeah. Those of you who get uh, motion sick, you may want to close your eyes for a little bit. But, a 135 wyvern, then again, this map does tend to favor the higher levels. Uh, that's a good thing. Yeah, hopefully she has good stats. They're probably going to go down because I'm not... Because <clears throat> I'm not using... Uh... Oh, uh... Primal Crystal, hopefully no more Baryonyx spawn in. <coughs> Excuse me again. Is Baryonyx will kick your butt down there? Right quick. Uh, yeah. So hopefully she does tame up right quick. Uh. That other wyvern, I'll have to take a look at it once we're done with her. Man, that one's looking pretty cool. I don't want to risk it. Not going to risk it. <clears throat> yeah, 99.9%. That's not bad. It'll probably drop to 98, maybe 97 but the key to taming wyverns, get on their shoulder blades and crouch. And pray that they do not land while you are taming them. As they land, they'll brush through a tree and knock you off. And you'll have to wait for them to land again. You'll probably miss a feed. Their taming effectiveness will go down even further. Not fun. Um, okay, now things should speed up. It's a good thing I got a bunch of crystal. I have a little shy of 200 crystal on me right now. Um, yeah. Her food's going to be going down wicked fast now. But I'm not getting... Just, they're not flying as fast as they normally do. Probably because I have so much weight on me. Uh, <clears throat> Please don't make me fall off. Um, yeah. So, but getting on this one, she was right in the open, so it was not too hard getting on her. Um, yeah. Man. Uh, this is... Crystal Wyverns, they are a game changer. Once you get a flyer in this map, which flyers are absolutely mandatory, you have to have something that flies. If you're going to play Crystal Isles, you got to get something that flies. Um, I'm just, just, just saying, just stating the obvious, because this map, you have floating islands, you have islands that you either have to swim to or fly to, you have these areas up here that are safe to build on, but you need a flyer to get to the top before you can build your little staircase ramp. And you have these little bits over here I was not even aware of. Who knows, I might even relocate right over here. Uh, I was tempted to build closer to the green knob, but... I don't know, this map is just so gorgeous. It's worth... Uh, and plus we'll have a... Wyvern taking us to the op. Oh, do not do these. Do not do those swoops. Do not do those swoops. You're giving me anxiety, girl. You're giving me anxiety. Stop doing those swoops, please. Please stop doing those swoops. You can be all buggy and stuff. And you can just fly in circle after circle after circle. Uh, but please do not do that and do not land. 
then again, they do not land while you are taming them. So, yeah. That's the one downside. Um, it's actually not a downside if you have experience taming them, but your first time taming a crystal wyvern, it can be pretty dang rough. Um, so, and I did not bring any parachutes. I was not thinking to craft up parachutes beforehand. Um, oh, game, do not bug out on me now. Okay, we're halfway there. 99.4%, but she hasn't lost a level yet, so... Stop doing those deep dives down and up, down and up. Stop doing those, you're freaking me out. Um, oh, she's flying over towards the green knob. Okay, so we've got a ways back to pick up our Thyla. And by pick up our Thyla, I mean literally just swoop down and pick it up. Um... Because I did not bring cryopods. Stop doing that, Swoop. You are scaring me to death. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> that was the most... That was the most, okay, I've got to get this screenshot fast <laughs> moment I've ever had. Okay, 71. So she's probably got five more feeds, maybe six. Um, yeah. And then we gotta go find a male, yay! But, yeah, we, we lucked out with this girl. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm guessing probably six feeds. Maybe even seven. She only gets five points per feed. Or a little over five. She gets six and a half per feed. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, stop doing that. Stop doing that, you're giving me anxiety. At the moment she's tamed, I have to be ready to... For the name your tropical crystal wyvern not to be ready to click cancel and then mount on her immediately so I don't fall to my death I mean sure she'll be on attacking target so if anything comes up and chews on her she'll be able to fight back but yeah still I'm not comfy with with that I'm, I'm just saying that that's just me so please please don't do any dives or fly straight up okay she's probably got one maybe two more feeds but man oh man it's exhilarating oh stop doing those dives it's exhilarating taming them at the same time, it's so nerve-wracking. Stop doing those dives. Okay, one more feed. And we're done. And we're done. It's about 20 or 30 seconds between feed. 98.9. Okay, so she lost one level. That's not the end of the world. Okay. Okay, except... Mount. Let's go find our Thyla. Because <laughs> I have no idea how far we flew away. Pretty far away. Yeah, all the way. We were all the way over there. Once we find that colorful wyvern, we'll know where our Thyla is. Yeah, it's right over here. Uh, there's our Thyla. Oh! Didn't mean to do that. Sea attack. Sea attack is for picking up things. That's right. Right click is for Argent. Sea attack is for Wyverns. Now, where's that colorful Wyvern? Ooh. Ooh, two Wyverns. Okay, that's a 90. That's a 55. Oh, that's so unfortunate. 
Um. Let's take you. Here's base right here. Or our temporary base, that is. There you are. There's that colorful wyvern. Fifteen, are you kidding me? <sighs> well, anyway, we are almost out of stamina, so... We have got to land. Ouch. No! Are you kidding me? I forgot to turn you off follow. Shoot, now where are you gonna land? Don't tell me you're heading all over to the mainland. You're landing in the water, really? Well then again, you are tropical crystal wyvern. You can land in the water. Uh, okay, your stats. Okay, I like the health. Uh, stamina needs improvement, weight needs improvement, melee needs improvement, yeah. Okay, so... Neutral, not following, how's our metal doing? Okay, not too bad. Yeah. That stack of crystal over there. We got meat and charcoal going over here. Uh, I do not have a preserving bin, so the meat's gonna spend some time. You have some meat on you, yeah. Like that. Oh, and you killed the leech. Okay, good for you. Um, and apparently Sarko as well. Uh, let's see, throw out the berries, that out, just give me all the hide, and you can keep all the rest of that. Okay, uh, and yeah. So, you're going to stay here, Super Feisty Kitty, and we're going to go look for another wyvern. Let's see. Cryopod. You have a level, but I don't want, but I'm going to be breeding you, unless I find a better wyvern. Uh, let's see, I know those are garbage, let's check over here for more. I know I probably should go look for a blood uh, wyvern, a blood crystal wyvern. But then again, blood crystal wyverns are in a totally part different part of the map. Um, let's head over here. This area is wide open. Usually pretty okay. Leads fish meat. Uh, but I do know Choppy Ignathus spawn over here. Hey, Bronto. That's 100, Bronto. Yeah. Stamina is going to be a bit of a problem. But that's always a problem for wyverns. Hmm. <sighs> 
Pteranodon. Another Pteranodon. Bunch of seagulls. Wyverns. Let's try down here. More Brontos. Pteranodon. A lot of Pteranodon. Okay. Dolphin. Got a little flipper down there. Purple drop with a ring around it. Definitely gonna stick around for that. Uh, wyverns. Hmm. Well, I'm going to wait for this purple drop, and I'll bring you guys back. Oh, I think I see a wyvern. Nope, just planes. Okay. Yeah, I'll see you. I'll bring you guys back when we get a wyvern, when I find another wyvern. Two hours later. Okay, so our wyvern hunt. I got uh, two more uh, crystal wyverns, both male. Um, so here's our female. Uh, you see her sat 76, 97.3 hit points, 498 weight. Um, 323 melee. I like the melee. The hit points are pretty good. 650 stamina. Not that great. Uh, this other male. Higher health. Lower melee. Much better stamina. Uh, but slightly worse weight. Um, so yeah, I think these two... I mean, unless I find another female with higher stamina, uh, these two are, this is going to be our breeding male, because the one I'm on right now has been leveled some, um, but initially his stamina was around 700, so yeah, it, it wasn't that good, um, but yeah, his melee is... The kick 323 on the female, 295, but just 247 on this guy. So this guy's just going to be our unimprinted uh, wyvern that we go cruising around on. Um, plus, I found a great new base location. Yeah, it's further away from the green ob, but it is great. It's this area right here. Um, we have easy access to the water. So whenever we tame uh, water things, they might be able to fit in here. I'm pretty sure Basilosaurus might be able to fit. Uh, pretty sure a Tuso and Mosa won't. Uh, but a Basilosaurus eh, might. Uh, sharks and dolphins definitely will. Mantas, of course. Anglerfish would. Um, but yeah, and I just, I have, I cannot say this enough. This is by far, th this is my apps, has to be my favorite non-canon DLC map. I mean, I just love this map. The other maps are great too. Baryonyx, I love where are you? 15, never mind. Um, I mean, the other maps, they're really good too, but this one, I just love, it's just so beautiful. I mean, yeah, it, it, it's just so beautiful. I mean, the other, the other maps are great too, but I, this is my personal favorite. Um, it's so beautiful. It's so creative. Um, and a good thing about putting, uh, building our base over there 
is it will not cut off the wyvern spawns over here. Because wyverns will spawn right here. Um, they'll spawn up there as well. And then, yep, see here's wyvern right here. What level are you? 150 fem- I never have good luck with 150s. They always end up having crap stats. I mean... I'll give her a go off camera and I'll let you guys know in the next episode how it goes. I'll come back and do her. Um, yeah. Just always have 150s. For some reason, you expect them to have amazing stats. It, but no. Give me all that thatch. Uh, there we go. Let's see, you're going to be our resource guy. So, I'm not going to put too much into health and melee. It's mostly going to be stamina and weight. Uh, yeah, with this guy. Uh, this guy is going to be our... Base, build, buddy. Uh, and we also need to invest in spoiled meat. How much prime meat do you have on there? Give me all that prime. Uh, and how much spoiled meat do you have on you? Give me that. Actually, give me all of that. So we need to go tame ourselves a mantis. Because mantis spawn on this map, and mantis are one of the best resource gatherers in all of Ark. And I kid you not when I say that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Two minutes. Five minutes. Awesome. Yeah, we're totally gonna have to get ourselves a mantis. How much? Whoa. Still have a lot to go. Um, but we're gonna have plenty more wood. Uh, wood. And I can't. And I'm out of slots in my inventory. Uh, let's get that metal cooking. Yeah, it's a bunch of metal that needs to get cooked up. Uh, oh look. More spoiled meat. Uh, or more meat that is waiting to spoil. I'm gonna put that fish meat on you so it does not spoil. It's not yet. Oh man, I just increased its spoil timer like an idiot. Uh, oh well. So, let me see. Let me get all my stuff. Uh, shit. Get you. Let me get my shotgun. Uh, let's see. Crystal Talon. That we can drop off here. I carry any of that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait for this to spoil. Uh, okay, so I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Hey there, Sarko. Come on, show yourself, buddy. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, uh, this is what I've got so far. It's not much, but um, this is going to be our uh, base. Yeah, I'm just out of wood. I need to get a wood gatherer, which means I need to get a mantis, but... 
I need bug repellent for that. Which means I need to get crops going. So, yeah. What all do I need for a crop? Plot. I need stone and some more wood. The stone won't be a problem. Wood I'm all out of on this little bit of island. Um, yeah, we're going to take this island and that one. Um, probably not that one just yet. But... see we need crops how many can we make need more stone there we go need let's see more stone yeah cuz i need to get all the crops going um I don't, I shouldn't be throwing out that flint, but, yeah. Um, I need lemons and carrots. Those are the only crops I need right now. But, since I don't, since I, uh, haven't found the beaver dams yet, beaver, there are beaver dams around here, I just cannot remember where. Either that or they haven't spawned in yet. Um... Yeah, these crops are going to be on their merry little own. Wood. Ceiling. Only two. I'm going to get a greenhouse going right here. Um, yeah, so this will be our little bridge. Yeah. So I think I'll need. Let's go with. Actually, we're going to need a lot of wood, so it doesn't matter how much wood we get, because I think we'll need six more. Then we gotta get pipes going for water. Let's see. One, two. Five more ceiling. Uh, oh, five. Perfect. Okay. Then I should go out and get myself a Morella Tops. Hey, I see you. I did see you. I saw movement. I saw movement. Is it beaver movement, perhaps? Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out. Okay, now we need two more. What are we out of? Wood, what a surprise. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I think that's just gonna do it for today. Uh, I'm not going to bore you all to death with a complete building episode. Um, yeah. So, I know the video is starting to run a little bit long. If I keep going, it's going to end up being super long. And I don't want it to go super long. Because that means possibly uh some more editing 
than I planned. So hey, I'll uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.